For eight consecutive nights, people in Tehran have defied authorities to protest over the death of Masa Amini. The 22-year-old died in custody last week after being arrested by so-called morality police. She'd allegedly violated the country's policy on headscarves. Similar protests are spreading across Iran. In the northwestern city of Oshnave, demonstrators defied a warning by the Iranian army that it would confront what it called enemies of the state. Similar protests were held in the western city of Karamabad. Tehran has limited internet services to clamp down on the growing dissent. The problem is if they switch off the, the access to international uh, networks, uh, to the global internet, then with the national internet or the national intranet, it's really hard to use those VPN services, um, safe uh, messenger apps such as Signal. The US government has eased export restrictions on software and some technology to Iran to widen online access. But analysts say it's unlikely to have an immediate impact. Several demonstrations in support of the government have also taken place in Iran. President Ibrahim Rahisi says Amini's death must be investigated, but has called the protests acts of chaos. They want to ride a wave and create riots and disturbances. They think with such moves they can stop the nation. We have announced many times that if anyone has a fair comment, we will listen to it. But anarchy, disturbing national security, the security of people, no one will succumb to this. So far, though, the protests show no sign of dying down. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.